city of Astrahan was one of the final targets of Operation Barbarossa in 1941. A year later, in September of 1942, it was almost reached by the 16th Motorized Infantry Division of the German Army. It advanced on the Caucasus with elements coming to within 20 miles of Astrahan in September of 1942. It was the most eastern point reached by any German unit during the war. As part of the Army Group A and the 1st Panzer Army, the 16th Infantry Division had the task of securing the left flank of the front with some fortified bases. The division commander, General Siegfried Heinrichsi, sent units from his recon battalion towards Astrahan at the beginning of September of 1942 to explore the upstream area. All of these long-range patrols were well equipped for their mission, a 200 km drive deep into enemy territory. Each troop had eight-wheeled heavy armored scout cars several light scout cars, a motorcycle platoon with 30 men, some anti-tank guns and a few engineers, radio operators and messengers. There was also an ambulance car with medics. On the 16th of September 1942, patrols penetrated the tank trenches of Sadovska on the lower reaches of the Volga River and were able to take a Soviet base. They also explored the intact railway line to Astrahan, which could be used for oil transports and where the transport chain from Baku and Astrahan could best be interrupted. This mission was the German armed forces' furthest eastward advance in the war against the Soviet Union. A few days later, the patrols had to return with their vital information. This fast and long advance gave rise to the division's new nickname and symbol, the Greyhound Division. A few months later, in the winter of 1942 and 43, the division was withdrawn into the Donetsk Basin during the general withdrawal of the Army Group Don.